my hustlers, how y'all doing today? Happy Sunday. I hope y'all church was good. My church spoke to me, my pastor. I told, uh, told the Holy Spirit to stay here. It was really good. But you know what? Y'all ready to cook with me? Let's cook. Y'all ready? We're going to do a simple meal today. And it is what it is. Come on in this kitchen of that hood, girl. Come on in. We're going to do spaghetti. Yes, I didn't get my spaghetti out. Hold up there. Wait a minute. I'll be back. Okay, Husters, I'm back. So again, we're going to do spaghetti. Now, my favorite meat that I like in my spaghetti is the Angus ground beef. I like 90% lean, 10% uh, 10 fat, because you're not going to have too much grease or no grease to drain. So this, this is beautiful. I always cut up a half of a sausage, and then I do um, like an inch round, and then I cut it in four pieces, y'all. We're going to add that in when we're uh, browning this beef, okay? Now, we're going to use some Skinner spaghetti, and in that spaghetti, we're going to put Prego, uh, what is this, roasted garlic and herb, the only one I buy, and then we're going to add in some uh, fire roasted diced potatoes. This is really good in spaghetti, y'all. Now, with the seasonings, y'all know I season. We're going to do a little salt. We're going to do some pepper. We're going to do a little of Italian seasoning. We're going to do basil. We're going to do onion powder and garlic powder. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of powdered beef bouillon. So let's get ready. I do have the pots heating up. This is the water for the spaghetti. And then we're going to do some green giant whole kernel corn. And I'll tell you what we're going to do with that. So let's open up this pack. Let's get this meat in this pot. Y'all hear that pot good and hot. Why do I have this spoon right here? I think I, I already think I had a spoon. I don't want this spoon, I want this spoon. You know, we have certain spoons that we use, right? Break up your meat, y'all. I'm kind of a little froze on the bottom. I took it out last last night, but let's, that's okay. We gonna break it up still. I'm glad I chose this spoon and not that other one. That other one ain't as thick as this one, y'all. So y'all just break that meat up. I'm gonna add my sausages in a minute. Not right now. And then we're gonna put in, let me get this board out. We're gonna crumble this up some more, y'all, as it uh, cooks, okay? Don't worry about it. Now in this sauce, we're gonna add one whole medium onion. We, I, I cut up four fresh garlic. I did uh, a whole small bell pepper and some celery and their leaves for the juice. But on this side, I have a small amount because this is going into the whole kernel corn, y'all, when I get ready to cook that. So, there you have it. And I think I'm gonna have some of that garlic bread that I didn't get to eat with my shrimp creole. Y'all remember that shrimp creole? We're gonna put that on a medium high heat, y'all. How y'all doing today? What are y'all cooking, honey? Shout out to my girl cooking with you, Judy, Judy Carwell. Say, hey, Judy. I know this is what you like me to do. So I, I'm, if I can remember every time I get in this kitchen and cook, I'm going to be doing a video just for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all, let that cook down. It's doing pretty good. When we break it up just a little bit more, we'll go ahead and add those sausages and the seasonings. Everything. Because we want those vegetables to cook down 
because y'all normally I do my spaghetti meat on the side spaghetti on the side and then I put the meat on top but you know what last time I did spaghetti in the old school way I mixed it all together it's something about that that I that reminded me that those spaghetti suck up that juice when it's all in the pot together so yes y'all I am going to do that again today mm-hmm I am so once this cook down y'all a little bit more I'll be back all right y'all y'all see that meat has cooked down so uh, broken up a little bit more so we're going to add those sausages in there and uh, y'all know that Zumo is on the lead sausages can I give y'all a close up let me see mm -hmm, I can we're going to just cook that on a medium high and we're going to let those sausages and those uh, that ground beef brown up together but we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in all this goodness, y'all. But the, we're adding the garlic last. I always add your garlic last, y'all. And but I, I add my garlic when I am uh, putting the liquid in. Y'all, I know y'all say, well, she always used that orange board. I have a pink one too, honey, but this is always the first one that I see. So it is what it is. But I do have another one, y'all. <laughs> Keep that right on over there. Y'all, y'all know something about that Trinity. We don't want that over there. All right, y'all. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Y'all see that goodness? I love all this in my spaghetti. I don't know how y'all like y'all's, but I like mine full of fresh veggies. Let's go ahead and add in our seasons. I'm going to do about a tablespoon of uh, powdered uh, bouillon. I don't think this one been open. Oh, that's brand new. About a tablespoon, y'all. That's it. And then we're not going to use this anymore. We're going to add in a teaspoon of salt. We're going to add in a tablespoon of black pepper. We're going to add in a half a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And we're not going to use this anymore either. We're going to put in the same of the basil. And we're not going to use that anymore either. We're going to use a tablespoon of onion powder. And we're going to use a tablespoon of garlic powder. And that water is boiling for the pasta. Oh, and I forgot my all-purpose seasoning, y'all. I'm going to use a tablespoon of that as well. Now, some of these we're going to use after we make the sauce because we want our sauce very flavorful. Oh, that water is boiling. Ain't it boiling? Don't forget to salt your water, y'all, before you put the pasta in. Salt that water. Oh, y'all, it smells so good. Oh, and y'all, we need a bay leaf. We need the bay leaf in there. I'm gonna do. If I get a big one out, we're gonna do a. We're gonna do two mediums. Oh, that look. That smells so good, y'all. So we'll let the, you see, there's no grease in this pot. Very little oil in this pot. That's why I love Angus 9010. Oh, and it smells delicious. Y'all see, y'all see, y'all see that goodness in that pot? Yeah. 
Y'all y'all want a close up of that pot? Y'all want a close up of that pot? Look at that pot. Look in there. Yes, honey. And it smells good. So while we're gonna just let that cook down just a minute on a medium high and I'll be back. Let me get this pasta in the water. Okay, y'all, I'm back. That meat is cooking down so good. And if y'all can see, look at that. There is no grease. Can y'all see it? We have no grease, y'all. And I like that. Don't, don't forget, y'all, 9 to 10, Angus. Angus beef. If you like Angus, that is. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add this garlic. Go ahead and add that fresh garlic in there. Those spaghetti are going. We're gonna let that cook for about a minute, not longer. And then we're about to add in these uh, fire roasted tomatoes, y'all. Uh oh, I raised that too high, huh? There you go. Oh, y'all, if y'all can just smell this goodness in this pan. It smells so, so good. Mm, mm, mm. That smells heavenly. Let's stir these gettys up over here. Make sure they cook it evenly. Do not overcook y'all spaghetti. Do not overcook the spaghetti, y'all. In this pan, I've already added butter. We're going to cook those uh, onion and bell pepper down for that corn y'all so let's get this going on the low let it let it do on low y'all ready let's do it oh my goodness give me all that out of there i love it Oh, and it gives it just a, a little bit of, of uh, oomph, y'all. Mm-hmm. Spice. It just makes it so good. Look at that, y'all. Look how rich that look. Oh, yeah. We're going to let that cook for about a minute. Get those uh, tomatoes uh, incorporated in that good ground beef. Oh, honey, when all this stuff uh, mix in with that pasta, I'm telling you, uh, that pasta is gonna love that sauce. Let's see what this butter doing over here. Let's go ahead and get this in that pot. Let it soften up. Y'all know I always add pepper to my fresh veggies. Don't ask me why. It's just something that I do when I'm putting fresh veggies in the pot, melting it in butter. I just add a little pepper. Just a little pepper, let it do what it do. That smells good. Now we're gonna add in the Prego, um, roasted garlic and herb, the only one I use. And I'm using the whole jar. to the store today and had to go pick up me some cracklings today y'all I was craving them cracklings y'all yes now we're gonna give this a good stir and then y'all already know y'all taste your stuff because you know you seasoned your meat already now what you're gonna do I got a taste of no I, I no I don't have a taster spoon I'm gonna get a taster spoon and I'm gonna taste this and this is where I'm going to add any other seasonings that I need because I love my pasta sauce to be delicious, y'all. But let me stir in uh, up these. They, they doing something over here and they smelling good up over here. Come on, onion and bell pepper and pepper. 
Look what y'all doing over here. I'm gonna have to slow y'all down a little bit. So y'all, let's taste. Yeah, but y'all know this sauce will start popping. Oh, that's the wrong top. Shoot. That's the wrong top, y'all. Yep. We're going to add pepper. I'm going to need this to slow down because I don't want that hot stuff popping. We're going to add pepper, y'all. Uh, another tablespoon of pepper. We're definitely going to add in some more uh, garlic powder. Maybe a half a teaspoon this time. I mean a tablespoon, not a teaspoon, y'all. And the same with the onion powder. We're going to add, we definitely need some more sour. Oh boy, do we need some sour up in now. We're going to add a teaspoon of sour, y'all. And we need some. And we need some more of this adobo. Now, let's give it a stir. Oh, that looks so good. Let's rinse that stir spoon, that taste spoon. Well, actually, I got some dish water in here, y'all. Let's wash it. Let's get out of taste. Hmm. That's it, y'all. Nothing more. Nothing more. Oh yeah, that's 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 good. that's looking good in that pot. All right, y'all, so we're gonna simmer this covered uh, for about, um, simmered about 20 minutes. And then once the spaghetti get through, once this is cooked down a bit, then we're gonna pour it in this spaghetti. But I'm about to drain this spaghetti, y'all, in a few minutes. And let me show you my cute little thing. Instead of using a big strainer, this is what I got, y'all. It fits half the pot. Like this, you roll it over, honey, you don't lose nothing. So, I'm glad I got that. Y'all, yeah, we're about to drain this pasta because we do not overcook pasta in this house. And we do not like uh, gummy rice. We, we like sticky rice, but we don't like gummy rice. So, y'all, we're going to do that now. That, this, uh, this has cooked down so pretty, y'all. Look at that. That's what it's called. Go ahead and add in your corn. And it already cooked with that butter. I'm not going to add any more butter. And the only other thing I'm going to add is some salt and pepper. And I'm going to add a pinch of sugar. A half a teaspoon, that is, of sugar. Let's give that a, let's give that a stir. And let's get this pasta drained. And I'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all, we back. This has been cooking for about... Oh, that's that top is hot for about um 25 minutes. Look at that goodness, y'all. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna turn the heat off right here. We're gonna bring this pot. A spaghetti over. We're going to trade places, y'all. Now, uh, I did add in uh, some Smart Balance Butter to my spaghetti, y'all. So, what we're going to do, we're going to carefully pull this in that spaghetti. 
Oh, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Let's get that in the water to be washed. We're going to take this part and we're just going to, I need y'all to see this. We're just going to stir this pasta in all that meat sauce. Oh, y'all. Can y'all see? Let, let, you know what? Look here. Come on over here. We're just going to stir that all together. Y'all, look at all that good meat in there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't that look scrumptiously good? Yeah. Make sure you incorporate it all because in the let it sit for about a couple of minutes, maybe 10 minutes, and let all this sauce soak in that pasta. I'm telling you, it is going to be delicious, y'all. So there you have it. And y'all, we got this corn over here. Y'all see that steam? Oh, that's going to be so good. So, so, so good. So, there you have it, y'all.